Vanessa Shires, 27, or speaking of creation. Um, I want to share a dream I have. Uh, I'm going to probably put up a few videos, but um, one of the videos I wanted to put up was actually withheld because I had some technical difficulties with my laptop for a while and was facing some spiritual attacks, and, um, spiritual warfare attacks. So, um, that prolonged it, but the Holy Spirit was leading me to post this for a while, and uh, I just gave it a shot, and my laptop started working out of nowhere again, so praise the Lord for that, my message will get out, and I was uneasy about all this. Um, the dream I had was the first one about a month after I got baptized, it was around my birthday a couple years ago, and um, it was like July, end of July, 2011, I was baptized in June, so I was at this, um, it was like a, a FEMA camp, it, it seemed like a, it was like a, a war, I don't know, warehouse, or it was like a, a concrete building, it would have been a, a finished warehouse, anyway, and there was um, a bunch of people, we were not in any kind of frantic mood or anything, everyone seemed calm, everyone seemed that they were sure they were going to get help with FEMA, and it was uneasy for me because I was even there, I, I knew that it wasn't a place that I would go willingly, I don't remember being forced there, but everyone seemed willing to go. Everyone believed that we were, that they were going to get help and we were safe and that it was all going to be provided for with food and shelter and all that and whatever kind of catastrophic, catastrophic event happened, um, cataclysmic, I guess, um, it, it was nothing that I knew of, like an earthquake, but everyone was there for safety, so I was uncomfortable and I didn't have any of my children with me in this place. Um, I have three in, in real life but I didn't have any with me in this. Not that I, I wasn't a mother in this but I just didn't have my children with me and there was uh, at least like in this big giant room probably the ceilings were about 60 to 75 feet high. And it was all like cement all around, all around. And there was even um, what made me take note of there was sprinklers on top, and I was worried because there was uh, it, it uh, like people were discussing what it could be for, and it was in my mind clear that it was going to be gas in there, and it was the gas chamber. Everyone was waiting and what we were thinking was waiting in line for our showers. Everyone was happy about it. We ended up going in this other room that was pretty big. The ceilings were probably the same. If if it was shorter, it was only like maybe 10 or 15 feet shorter. So it was 50 feet high ceilings and sprinkler system in there too. But there, there was more sprinklers in there. And People were discussing, like, oh, well, if there was any fire, I don't know how there would be fire, because we were checked before we went in, and, like, we didn't have anything that could light a fire, right? But, um, yeah, I, I kind of knew that it was, like, Hitler-style, like, it reminded me of concentration camps, how they tricked the Jews in thinking it was going to be showers and they got gas, so... It was, um, it was really sad. All these people thought it was okay, and it wasn't. We got in this room, and, and that was the end. Um, there was another dream. I'll, I'll share another different video.